Robert Knapp was an American actor who appeared in film and on television between 1951 and 1976. Background As a teenager, Knapp worked on his father's Orange Grove in Covina, Los Angeles County, where he attended school. As a youth he particularly excelled in swimming and football. He studied for a year in a college in Glendale but dropped out to work as a messenger for Warner Brothers Studios. He became a member of Irving Ashe's unit. After two years in the United States Army making training films, he returned to Warner Brothers, where he was employed in the publicity department and then as a second assistant director. His acting career was launched after he was seen playing opposite Mary Boland and Charles Ruggles in the play One Fine Day. Knapp's father was president of the Orbor department store in Lansing, Michigan. Brother Roland Knapp worked there for a time as a buyer. Knapp and his wife, the former Marilyn Ree Millard, lived in the San Fernando Valley early in his career. They were both active sculptors. He built his own badminton court in his backyard. Films. Knapp's first film role, uncredited, was in 1951 in Rogue River with Rory Calhoun and Peter Graves. He subsequently appeared in Mesa of Lost Women, as pilot Grant Phillips, Scandal, Inc., as tabloid reporter Jess Blanchard, Rawhide Trail, as Farley Durand, and Revolt at Fort Laramie, as L.T. Chick Waller. In 1959, Knapp was cast in the leaders Gil Reardon in the film Gunman from Laredo. In the storyline, Reardon seeks vengeance against Ben Kiefer for the murder of Reardon's wife, Katie. He kills one of Kiefer's henchmen, and Kiefer makes the shooting look like murder. Reardon is imprisoned, but the marshal, Matt Crawford, is sympathetic to Reardon and lets him escape to pursue Kiefer. The film, set in and about Laredo, Texas, also stars Ron Hayes as Walt Kiefer and Don C. Harvey as Deputy Dave. Other film roles included Hot Car Girl as Detective Lieutenant Ryan, The Threat is Steve Keenan, and The Stoolie as Big Daddy. He appeared in numerous other films without credit. Television. In 1955, Knapp appeared as the controversial outlaw, gunfighter, and Marshal Jim Courtright on the syndicated anthology series Stories of the Century, starring and narrated by Jim Davis. In 1960, he appeared as Tom Dixon in The Devil's Jew of the syndicated Western anthology series Death Valley Days. The episode also features Brett King. Knapp's longest-running television roles were between 1965 and 1971 in 11 episodes of ABC's The FBI, starring Ephraim Zimbalist, Jr. Knapp played different roles on the crime drama, including five times as Agent Noel MacDonald. His last appearance in the series was in the role of Liam Boy in Superstition Rock on November 28, 1971. Knapp appeared three times each on The Roy Rogers Show and Laramie, in the latter NBC Western series starring John Smith and Robert Fuller. He was cast as Brody in Night of the Quiet Men, as Snow in The Passing of Cuba Smith, and as Gibbs in The Last Battleground. In 1959, he starred in the lead, The Frank Butler Story, of the CBS fantasy drama The Millionaire. Also that year he played the role of Stuart Baxter in the Perry Mason episode, The Case of the Caretaker's Cat. He made two other appearances in different roles in 1963. Charles Lambert in The Case of the Bluffing Blast, and James Bradison in The Case of the Drowsy Mosquito, on December 2, 1960. He guest-starred in NBC's Michael Shane as Arthur Hudson in the episode Blood on Biscayne Bay. That same week he played Joe Tiddle in The Cave Diverse of the CBS C-drama The Aquanauts. Several months earlier, he had played Andy Watson in the episode Underwater Narcotics of a similar series, The Syndicated Sea Hunt starring Lloyd Bridges. Between November 10 and December 13, 1965, he was cast nine times as Ben Olsen on the long-running NBC soap opera Days of Our Lives. Then in its first season, 
Between 1962 and 1971, he appeared seven times on CBS's Western series, Gunsmoke, his last role as a deputy in Mirage, on January 11, 1971. Between 1953 and 1955, he appeared five times on NBC's original Dragnet television series starring Jack Webb. He appeared on four other occasions in 1967 in the revamped version of the same series, including the premiere episode, The LSD Story, in which Nat portrays a lenient father who wants his son, played by Michael Burns, released for having used the then-experimental drug LSD. Twice Nat appeared on the following. The Public Defender, Navy Log, The Silent Service, Hawaiian Eye, Bonanza, The Rat Patrol, Run For Your Life, M Squad, Boots and Saddles, Lock Up, The Invaders, and Cheyenne. In the latter ABC Western series starring Clint Walker, the first network Western to be one hour in length, he played Frank Thorne in Massacre at Gunsight Pass, and Deputy Rankin in Wanted for the Murder of Cheyenne Bodie. Knapp appeared on such westerns as The Rifleman, Broken Arrow, The Adventures of Rin Tin Tin, Frontier Doctor, Black Saddle, Casey Jones, and The Grey Ghost. He appeared in such adventure, mystery, and drama series as Schlitz Playhouse, Border Patrol, Surfside 6, 77 Sunset Strip, The Man and the Challenge. Behind Closed Doors, G. Crew, Coronado 9, Arrest and Trial, Marcus Welby, M.D., Adam 12, Highway Patrol, The Dupont Show with June Allison, and The Craft Suspense Theatre. His appearance on the syndicated adventure series, The Everglades, reunited him with series star Ron Hayes with whom he had been cast in the film Gunman from Laredo. Nab's last role was in 1975 in the Eddie Albert, Robert Wagner CBS drama Switch, in which he played Lieutenant Stone in the unusually titled episode, Gaffing the Skim.